This is Milani, Chapter 15, Section 4, Problem Number 2. We are trying to find the area which is above x-axis. Now, in this problem, I'm trying to find the area between minus 3 to a. The only things we know, a is bigger than minus 3. Remember, four steps. Step number one, subtraction of the antiderivative. Now, in this problem, because I am trying to find the area between my equation and x-axis, my second equation is the x-axis. Equation of a line is y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 does not affect anything in this problem. That means step number one actually is find the antiderivative. Antiderivative of a 2x is going to be 2x to the exponent 2 over 2. Antiderivative of a 5 is the 5x. But in this problem, we do have the number above and below my antiderivative sign. That means we do not say plus c anymore. We are going to draw the vertical line and then we are going to label our x value. That was the step number one. Step number two, replace the x by the higher x value. In this problem, higher x value is a. Then replace all your x's by a. But what I did here, before I just plug it in, I reduced this two by this two because it's going to help us a lot. Simplify before I go to the next step. Now, this is much easier. Replace the x by a. Now, in this one, I can use it as is. It's no big deal. But if you want it, you can get rid of the parentheses. That means if you write it down like this or this, both means exact the same things. Step number three, replace the x by the lower x value. But as I always says, anytime you have a negative coordinate, be cautious. Keep it inside the parentheses. Now, Minus 3 to the exponent 2 is become positive 9. 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Combined, 9 plus minus 15 is become minus 6. Step number 4. The higher x value, which is this one, minus the lower one. Again, be cautious. My lower x value is the negative coordinate. Keep it inside of the parentheses. This minus times this minus is become positive and that will be your answer.